Tom is the only leader who has the experience to defeat Stephen Harper.
going to have to get the fire marshals in here. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jack. <laughs> After years of being taken for granted by the Liberals and neglected by the Conservatives, it's been the NDP's Toronto team of MPs who have stood up and fought for this city. Your Toronto NDP members of these like Toronto shouldn't have to choose between better roads or better transit. Toronto needs and deserves both. And the cities of this country shouldn't have to plead for ad hoc, one-off funding commitments from Ottawa that could just disappear tomorrow under an NDP government. We'll create a special funding envelope just for transit, and our commitment will be permanent, stable, and predictable. <laughs> to build a better Toronto, local decision makers must be able to plan long term. Jack Layton fought and won to bring about stable funding for transit when he pushed for the federal gas tax transfer and increased transit investments. Last year, I announced that as a first step, an NDP government would add to that permanent investment with an additional $420 million for transit across Canada from the existing gas tanks. That would be $90 million annually for the GTA alone. I firmly believe that every city in Canada should have a modern transit infrastructure needed to move its people quickly and affordably. In the Toronto municipal election this past fall, one of the big issues was transit, and for good reason. Buses are overcrowded, streetcars are in constant state of disrepair, and subway routes haven't kept pace with population growth. The effects have been long delays, more congestion, and gridlock, to say nothing of increasing greenhouse gases. In fact, the average commute time in Toronto, over 80 minutes a day, is actually longer than that in London, England, New York, or Los Angeles. And according to the Boards of Trade and Chambers of Commerce here, gridlock costs the City of Toronto at least $6 billion a year in lost productivity. We also believe that affordable housing in Canada is a right. Today, nearly 100,000 families are on the wait list for social housing in this city alone. Shame. The city and the province cannot do it on their own. They need a reliable partner in Ottawa. Yeah. In 1972, David Lewis secured the modern federal social housing strategy. And in 2005, Jack Layton's better balanced budget invested over a billion dollars into affordable housing. Those were important steps that say a lot about who we are, what our priorities are. But to address the seriousness of the housing crisis, we have to take it to the next level. A new democratic government will build a better Toronto by becoming a long-term stable partner to build affordable housing. I'm announcing today that I'll appoint a minister responsible for urban affairs with a mandate within the first hundred days of taking office to identify worthy extensions of the social housing investments that are soon set to expire and identify new investments to ensure we tackle the crisis of affordable housing and hopelessness in Toronto and right across Canada.
over the coming over the coming weeks and months, we'll invite Canadians to ask themselves which leader has the experience to defeat Stephen Harper and the plan to repair the damage he's done. There's a throng of people trying to get in to see uh, Tom Mulcair. He's like uh, a rock star here, so it might be a little bit difficult to get in there, but uh, as you saw, powerful uh, words from uh, Tom Mulcair. Uh, look forward to uh, what he's got in the future. Great event, great energy. I'll see you next time.